Some people dream success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Bodybuilding, a lot of people don't, don't grasp it, but bodybuilding is an art. It's not just a sport, per se. I mean, I always think the dumbbells on my paintbrushes. I think of Picasso, I think of all the great artists that were great artists. They, they, they use those tools. So the dumbbells are my tools, the barbells are my tools, the leg presses are my, are my paintbrushes. So I use these items to create the body, to make it look the best in my mouth. Joe Peter, certainly the most prominent name in the bodybuilding industry, publisher of Muscle Fitness Magazine, the creator of the Mr. Olympia and Miss Olympia Championship, had a wonderful quote about Robbie some years ago. Steve, do you remember what that quote was? Tommy, I'd have to go back into the archives of all those magazines, but I believe Joe said that Robbie had the greatest physique of all time. You know, imagination, you know, you have no idea how huge imagination plays in development of this physique. I wonder if it started off for me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really, I just, I used to talk to my dog that, you know, one of these days I'm going to be famous. And I'll be up there doing whatever I'm going to be doing, and the crowd will be roaring and calling my name. Right. I didn't think about what they were saying. I didn't hear it. It didn't matter for me. I don't care what you say. It didn't matter for me. Thinking, I'm going on to the next level, regardless of what you try to say or what you do, I'm going to do it anyway. And now you're talking. 30, 40 years later, you have no idea the, the people that email me that were back in that time. Wow. And they apologize and they're saying, hey, Robbie, you are amazing. You did an amazing job. You still make the South look good. Back in those days, I mean, you had to be Christian to become a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. And those that were no women, it was just bodybuilders. The guys that you saw in Papa Nine, there really wasn't that many people coming in and out of those gyms. Mm -hmm. And they find the those gyms throughout the world as they do today. You had to be, you were like a gladiator at night. My body responded to the training. I got a chance to work with Arnold Franco and Zane, Wall, and all the guys. In those days, you got challenged. You couldn't just come in, go to the gym and train. What kind of environment and what kind of relationship? Oh, but we, it was brutal. There was no, I mean, these guys, they didn't jack no draws. You had to go in there and train. Our next performer, very, very strong possibilities, Robert Robinson from Tallahassee, Florida. There is 205 pounds of great muscle. He's five feet, eight inches tall, hard to believe. He's a very good poser. Yeah, I, I love bodybuilding. It's a good sport. And it's like, always one of the main reasons I can say. And I just met someone and I fell in love with that. And right. The love and then Joe Weider being there supporting me and encouraging me to come back and telling me that I can do it. Uh, gave me a, a, a new drive for right. becoming a better bodybuilder, a better athlete. Smooth in his performance. Look at the peak on that bicep. Tremendous development, complete development of the arms and the back. It's so easy to leave certain parts out. They have to spend hours in the gymnasium sculpting these muscles. Every muscle is important. Every part of it. Good legs. He has a complete body. Tremendous Robert Robinson. Crowd obviously very pleased and liking this performance. There's the muscularity. 60 seconds went by, tremendous. 